Welcome to the Mechanical Techniques Millwright Virtual Open House. Um, this is something that we normally do uh, on campus, but um, obviously um, that can't be done. So we're going to go through some of the program highlights and um, hopefully um, answer any of the questions you might have or concerns about the program. And we're going to do that through this little virtual um, open house. So we'll get started. Um, it's a certificate program, program number 1385 at the Conestoga College, Cambridge campus. I am the program coordinator. My name is Kim Underwood. You can reach me at kunderwood at conestogac.on.ca. Thank you. So like I said, hi all, I'll be, I would be your main teacher um, for the Millwright subjects, uh, both theory and practical. In theory right now, we're doing um, Zoom classes from home. And practical, we've been going into the shop um, for our practical hours. And some of the other labs um, that you have to be at, attend uh, the school to do. Uh, hopefully by next year, We'll see, maybe this will change and we will be going back to the campus. But as of now, the theory is um, zoomed and the practical is done in the school. So I've been a licensed millwright uh, for many years, since 1987, I got my license. Um, it's been a great trade, I enjoyed it very much. I'm um, always doing something different, always fixing things, going from one job to the next, and you know, one area to the next, so there's lots of um, opportunity not to get, um, so there's lots of opportunity. You're not going to get um, bored. You're going to be constantly doing new things and it keeps you engaged in your job. I joined Conestoga College as a full-time professor in 2001 and I've been teaching full-time ever since and enjoying it very much. Uh, program highlights. This is a very popular program. Um, the students and employers um, were known local around the area um, to produce good quality applicants and lead that what should lead to apprentices. Um, we try to weed out the uh, students that aren't very interested and aren't committed. And we have attendance policies and late policies and um, quite a bit of work. Um, for the students to do when they get through this program. Um, they've, they've, got, they've developed a good work ethic and they uh, transfers on to their, hopefully transfers on to their apprenticeship. Um, we usually get about 150 to 200 applicants depending on the year, uh, somewhere in that range. And we uh, used to only accept 24 students. Uh, we're accepting, we've been accepting 48 students for the last few years just because of the demand. So um, for the Theory classes, there's 48 uh, in the theory class and in the practical classes, they're broken into two groups of 24 or smaller if needed in some of the other subjects. So this program leads to apprenticeship opportunities um, with local industry. Um, when you complete this program, level one and level two of your in-school component are complete. You do not have to come back to school for those. Bring your own devices. Um, the students entering this program must have a laptop computer that meets the minimum specification requirements. I'll watch that on the next slide. Own and maintain their laptops. Uh, bring their laptops the first week of classes and be prepared for classes. During the first week, students will be instructed on how to download certain software products and how to access other products through the college server. A lot of those are all free. You can Go on a virtual campus tour here. And you can see the uh, Cambridge campus to a virtual, virtual tour. Um, career opportunities, graduating students will be prepared for a number of employment opportunities, including Millwright apprentices. This is the biggest one. Everybody wants to take this course and try and become an apprentice, which would lead to a journey. So Millwright apprenticeships for various industrial manufacturing facilities around um, the Tri-Cities or around Southern Ontario or actually anywhere in Canada. Um, it, some people go west, some people go east, a lot of people stay around here, some go north. So it's wherever you can find an apprenticeship and you, you 
you like to work in that industry, um, you have a great uh, opportunity for that. Because because we're in such a vast variety of um, in industries, food and beverage, automotive, nuclear power, and mining, um, there's a lot of opportunities for the students to find something. Uh, we're associated closely with Glimar, Magna, CarMax companies, so let's just name a few um, of the automotive plants that hire our students and are part of our PAC committees. Um, the millwright apprentices through local unions also are, are always looking for our apprentices and our classes. Um, we, I am in close contact with the, uh, the head down there, and he lets me know when the, there's writings, what the students have to do there is go down and write an aptitude test to get onto the list, the union list, and then they can apprenticeship through the union. And there's lots of opportunities there too. Frequently asked questions uh, about this program, um, the credentials I get asked a lot, the credentials at the end of the program, it's a one year program. We'd end up with a no right certificate from Conestoga College, level one and level two of the in school portion of an apprenticeship complete. Um, tools are supplied by the college, but a number of students are encouraged to bring their own personal safety items um, safety glasses, work boots, things you don't want to share welding helmets, welding jackets, um, especially with the COVID. Uh, we used to supply welding jackets, but they really don't want students um, sharing them. So we're asking you to purchase your own if you can. If not, there are some there that can be shared. They have to be clean. I get asked a lot about wages. Uh, apprentices usually start at about 60% of the tradesman's wages at the facility you're working, and it goes up from there. So generally, it's 60% for a first year apprentice, 70% for a second year apprentice. 80% for a third year, 90 for a fourth year, and 100% when you're licensed. That's basically how the structure works for pay. The average rate of pay varies quite a bit too, depending on where you work, union, non-union, and things like that. Some of the smaller non-union shops would pay probably around $25 to $30 an hour, somewhere in there. And then this is for licensed no rights, okay? So if you're an apprentice, you're gonna be getting about 60% of that. That's kind of the low end. It goes all the way up to the high end here at $55 an hour, like through the union or through some of the um, larger unionized facilities, um, Ford, GM, those types of places. They're probably not paying 55, but they're probably playing somewhere, I'm not sure, but probably around $40 an hour up. Okay, so for more information about this program, you can go on to the webs onto our uh, program webpage, Conestoga college and punch in the mechanical techniques millwright program and there's some additional information there also so come join us um, if you're interested in this type of a program um, you can uh, when you get your uh, first you need to apply and, we'll, and when you get your um, letter of acceptance and you're interested in this course you need to finalize your offer don't sit on it. Um, remember, we only take 48 students. It's the first 48 that have actually uh, registered and paid their fees. That would hold your spot. Okay, so it's a very popular program. And if you have anything else that you need, uh, any more information you would like to get, um, you can contact me at kunderwood at conestogac.on.ca, and I'd be happy to uh, answer any more of your additional questions. Other than that, thank you for coming to our virtual open house and enjoy. Good luck.